probably the hardest and most technically precise discipline in road racing, liked by the professional riders and thought by many fans to be the most beautiful of all events, the team time trial opens the competition here at the World Championships. The team time trial for men was first included in the UCI World Championships back in 1962 and won by the host nation Italy. Italians have a glorious record in the men's team time trial, becoming world champions on seven occasions, between that first year and the last of the national team competitions in 1994. The women's event ran from the late 1980s until 1994, which also marked the end of national team-based competition at the World Championships. It's really cool, I mean, it's just, especially because it's something you achieve with the whole team and also with the staff and, I mean, all the riders together and all the staff and normally when you have a win or show, there's only one that goes to the podium and now you can all go to the podium and you can all wear it and, yeah, it's just something you really achieve together and that makes it extra special. With a 14-year absence from the World Championships until last year, this elegant discipline can be complex and baffling for new fans of the sport. So how does it work? Six riders leave the start ramp all together at their allotted time. The aim to record the fastest possible time at the finish. Sounds easy, doesn't it? But when you have a team of individual riders all exhibiting different strengths, it's a complex balancing act to get the most from each rider and keep the team together. You need to find six riders that are good, that are on a similar level. Uh, it's, about, it's about technique, it's not about uh, um, and the whole team and not about individuals. So a lot of, a lot of uh, things have to come together on that one particular day at, at a particular time and we need to prepare for it. The riders move along in one line, each one taking a turn to set the pace at the front. This is the first reason it's important to keep the team together. The leading rider has to make 20 to 25% more effort to push through the air whilst the other riders in the slipstream could get some time to recover. Some stronger riders will take more or longer turns riding at the front, and this will often be used as a tactic to protect the majority of the team and keep the pace high. The more riders that can stay together, the more the work of pushing through the air can be shared, and in theory, the faster the group will travel. The second reason to keep riders together is that the finishing time for each team is taken on the fourth rider crossing the line. Here you will see strong riders give everything in the last few kilometres to ensure that four riders finish. The winning trade team is joined on the podium by its director sportif and throughout the year the team has the right to wear the distinctive team time trial champion, world champion symbol as well as winning the coveted world championship team time trial trophy. Really, it's, it's a team effort, uh, and with this, this team, time trialing is, is very important. There is a lot of effort from the manufacturers to be good. All the riders like it, uh, and it's also exceptional that you ride in a team with uh, individual good time trialists like this on this level. So it was a very important victory for, for us and for, for the riders also. Ever since I was a junior, under 23, I've always loved team time trials. and. Um, you know, even in stage races, you know, you don't get to do them very often, but to, to have the ability to have it as a, as a you know, go for it as a, as a world championship event, you know, it's really important for us as a team. We came quite close to winning last year, we we're two seconds away, and we've definitely stepped it up a notch this year, and we got to tick that final box tomorrow, and, and we're all very excited and motivated to do so. When practiced and ridden to perfection, the team time trial can be both graceful and stunning to watch. When it goes wrong, it can go very wrong indeed. Riders suffering a bad day, a missed corner, too much acceleration at the front, or crashes can all devastate the smooth running of the team time trial. And yet, it remains wonderful to watch and a spectacular part of the UCI Road World Championships.